Uh, so Joe, uh, George, uh, so this is, this. what was what was this? This was a Nibi Fighter 200. Okay, so um, electric, heat pump. Heat pump, ventilation. Uh, how, how, reli how reliable did the customer uh, say that it was? Yeah, he moved in three days after moving in this unit. Okay, but before, but the landlord. What did the land? What did the landlord say? He wasn't impressed with it. <laughs> and he he ran out of people to keep calling to to try and fix it. But they called him out and and they said it was just beyond economical repair. Um, and he did the people that work on it. Um, <laughs> it's not that I was only ten years old. Only ten years old. Yeah. And how much are they new? I know they were full to him, but they they weigh too much. That's They're about fourteen grand plus new, wow, and they lasted ten years. Yeah. Uh, mental. Uh, Jules, this is the most important question, which is why I'm making a video. So one of our other engineers, Bear, so if Bear had to measure that now, so the height and the width, what would Bear do? We wouldn't have a tape measure, so he'd say, um, he'd say how, Bear, how long is it? And he'd say, oh, it's a, an iPhone plus a folder plus a, a pencil. Two pencils. <laughs> plus a couple of tap washers. And, and in terms of his accuracy when he's measuring it with iPhones, pencils and bits and pieces, how, how accurate would he be? Spot on. <laughs> um, have, you been on, have you been on film before? Uh, twice. <laughs> so just give us a little overview of what we've taken out of the cupboard. So in here um, yeah. was a, a NIMBY NIMBY Fighter 200. Yeah. Um, Massive unit took up the whole cupboard. Yeah, and what did uh, what did the uh, landlord have to tell us about this? So <laughs> this property is about ten years old. So that was put in when it was built. Um, he's had nothing but problems since day one. Yeah. Um, is he the only one? Is he the only one? No, neighbours come out and yeah. ask, "Are oh, you taking it out? They want theirs out now." <laughs> um, just problems. <laughs> And, 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 and apart from problems, they're also really cheap to repair, aren't they? Yes, very cheap. <laughs> really cheap. No, the repairs are really expensive. Yeah. So just talk us through what we're, put, what we're putting in as a replacement. So we've got an electric boiler, a heat ray saviour electric boiler. So it's a British made boiler. And we put an unvented cylinder in. British made unvented cylinder, yeah. Correct. And, and on the cylinder, is it, because there's two types of cylinder, isn't there? There's a direct cylinder and an indirect. What are we fitting? We're fitting a direct. So it's more efficient to fit the direct than an indirect. Yeah, because I've seen lots of videos online where other people fit an indirect cylinder. No. Have we ever done that? No, because it's, <laughs> it's going to cost you more money. Yeah, this is more efficient. More efficient. And more reliable and less to go wrong. Exactly. Yeah. So why would you do that? I have no idea. No. Okay, so um, so this whole cupboard, as we've seen from the previous pictures, was taken up with the one boiler. Now, they're going to have loads of storage space. Plenty of storage space above this area here. Yeah. Um, Shelve that out. And also, no, up in the ceiling, you've got the two vents um, from the old NIMBY. Just talk us through what they were for. So, this is a heat pump on the NIMBY. These are like a vent stops the drawer area and that, and also do additional ventilation for the property. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, they're there in place. Um, we keep them there, those pipes, because if you do have a problem in the future with your ventilation, we can come along and fit an additional um, ventilation. So why, why, don't, why don't we just do that right now? Because if you don't have a problem, why would you waste from money at it when you don't need to? Yeah, that's true. So in all, I mean, in, if, in all the replacements, so in all of the, the NIMBYs that we've taken out and fitted this kind of system, yeah. how many times have we actually had to fit a pump? Once. Once. So it's really not, um, it's really yeah, something very, it's very rare. So as it, it, it can be done afterwards anyway, so it doesn't, it doesn't need to be done. No, Joe, I'm just reiterating what Joe said, and Joe nails it really. Is why would why would you want to waste money on a big pump that you possibly might not need? If you need it, then do it, but don't do it because we suggest you should do it or think you should do it. Uh, let's just wait and see if that makes sense. And that's uh, the most sensible approach. Joe, as always, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Joe, before we, t how difficult was it to take the old? Um... It, it, they're ridiculous. Um, Four hundred and twenty kilograms in weight. Don't ask. And, and where's your uh, where's your little help for George got? He's run off. <laughs> Has he got home to bed? He's gone home. He's gone to see his mum. He's gone to see his mum. So we've taken out um, a NIMBY um, air, heat, air pump, uh, heat pump, I should say. Um, does ventilation as well. Um, company uh, customer had loads of issues with it, but. Just talk us through what you're doing now. So, um, you're wiring up the immersions. Yeah, a dual immersion through to a Sangamo timer. Okay, and what's uh, the benefits of the, um, the timer? 
um, it basically you can set it so it's like overnight. So after about an hour or so, it'll yeah. stop off and they'll, take, they'll have a tank full of hot water using overnight cheap electricity. That's it. Excellent. Exactly. Did we rehearse this, Tony? No, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> no.